Okay, are you warmed and ready to go? Well, have a seat. Assez-vous. Move this out of the way here. Now, for our couch potatoes who just like to watch the show, please join us in this stretch. I don't mind that you're not exercising with us, but please try this stretch. This is a stretch for the hamstrings, the back of the legs. What you do is lean forward slightly from the waist, but please ensure that you do have support behind the knee area here. Very important. A lot of ligaments and tendons in there that don't stretch. Once they do stretch out, that's an injury. So just bend forward from the waist until you feel a stretch in through the hamstrings. Now, do you know that vitamin that's great for making friends? It's vitamin B1. B1, be a friend, okay? Actually, let's take a minute to think about that. What, did, what do you think are the criteria needed for being a good friend? Let's see, non-judgmental, supportive, good listener, compassionate. All those things. You know, the neatest thing about being a friend is having a variety of friends with a variety of interests, okay, makes you a, a more broad, broad person. I know that with my friends, I'm very eclectic with my friends. I have some very, very different friends, which is interesting. It's interesting to get everyone together, too. The conversations are quite unique. Okay, can you feel that stretch? Good, that's where you want to hold. Very important to stretch your hamstrings if you have lower back problems. Keep them nice and pliable. It could be the reason that you're having lower back problems. Okay, couch potatoes, sofa spuds, you're not going to exercise again today. You're just going to sit there with your coffee and... Is that a donut? Oh, my. Well, thank you for tuning in anyhow. We'll see if we can't impart some information for you today and get you up off, off your butt at some point exercising. Come back out of the stretch. We're going to stretch the adductors. I'd like you to join me in the center of a well-padded area, your carpet. Okay, what we'll do is work one leg back, knee stays in line with the heel, very important, and you lunge back, your hips and shoulders stay in line. This is a really good exercise for balance too. As we get older, it seems our equilibrium, our hearing is affected because of our, our equilibrium is affected because of our hearing. We tend to lose hearing over the ages. So what you want to do is work on your balance and this is a good little exercise that will help you do that. Okay, arms out here like so. If you want to get really risky, up they come above and hold it. You're going to feel this into the adductor, the groin region. Okay, down you come, same thing, up and over to the other side. One leg out, one leg back, work it back, work it back as far back as you comfortably can until you feel the stretch. You never want to bounce in a stretch either. The ball of the foot stays in full contact, hips and shoulders in proper line, knee directly over the heel. Okay, not out over the toe. There you go, and support mid-thigh if you need to, never near the joint. Okay, and come up, work on your balance, focus on a stationary object, breathe. Okay, down you come. And let's do a pretzel sip. This we usually do this during the cool down. Today let's try it here. Sitting like so, twist right around, warm up your spine, twist to one side, hold it right there. It's good for the gluteal region too. Now if you do have lower back problems, remember stretch the gluteal region, stretch the hamstrings, the spine, sitting up nice and tall and twist right around, all the way around. Might be time for a change in your life. You have an exercise before, you've never embraced exercise, because what happens with exercise is you'll find that you'll start getting interested in eating healthily and all of that. Okay, grab a sip of water, quick, quick, quick. I like to do this, then my mouth doesn't get too dry. Okie dokie, here we go. If you're ready, step side to side. This is what we'll start, we won't do the march today. Not right now, anyhow. Okay, stepping side to side. Big deep breaths and let your arms begin to move. There will be two levels, okay? So you can choose high intensity or low intensity. And listen, if you'd rather do half low and half high, that's fine. It's whatever you want. The main thing is that you're moving. Okay, now work the arms up, up. There you go, good. Toe touches, okay. Well, I guess we should include my partner here. You think? Okay, yes. Count down 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Heel comes forward, fingertips resting on your waistline. There we go. Now the one thing about exercise that I have learned through you people is that it is very empowering to you. I've been reading some of your mail and thank you for writing because it, it really does help me. It's very inspirational. And what I have found is that because you're exercising now, you've never exercised before, some of you, you're finding that you're eating better, you're becoming more health conscious, you have more energy, you're doing more, you're learning more. It's a whole process that goes along with exercising. So congratulations for taking that first step and continuing to take the steps, continuing to tune in. 
arms in five, four, three, two, one. Slide them down by your sides and then work them up just to shoulder height. Any higher and it can place a little bit of strain on the neck joint. Okay, if you want to go higher, your neck is strong, up you come. Okay, now here are some words of wisdom. All you have to do to change your life is to change your mind. It's really that simple, but it's not that easy, okay? All you have to do to stop feeling bad is to start feeling good. But you see, feeling good is not a one-time event. It's a minute-to-minute, day-to-day decision. It's a creation, something you have to create in your own world. Countdown to change. Five, four, three, two, one. Touch across. High intensity people do their own variation here. There we go. Touch across. Work the adductor. Inner thigh, yes. Touch. Touch. Good for you. There you go. You see, the way to change the world, the only way to change the world, is to change your attitude towards it. The world is not going to change. So if you're not happy with what's happening in your life, you need to change, you need to make changes. However small they may be, however large they may be, you may need the support of your friends and family in doing so. And two, you can make changes, little changes. Okay, it doesn't have to be a, an overnight change, you're a different person, that usually doesn't last. Count down to arms. Five, four, three, two, one. Reach out at chest height, reach and pull. There you go. Stretch and pull back. Okay. I know what exercise has done for my life, and that is it gives me an incredible amount of energy. And I really enjoy having that energy because I tend to be the type of person who wants to do a lot. I want to do it all. I want to change the world. <laughs> you know, and I realize that that's not going to happen, but in my own small way, I can change my world and hopefully inspire others to do the same. Okay, count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Touching back, toe touches back. Now, do we have any golfers amongst us today exercising? Yes, yes, okay, very good. Well, I have some, a quote actually from Hank Aaron, very, very famous American baseball player, whom I'm sure you're all familiar with. Well, he said that it took me 17 years to get 3,000 hits in baseball. And in golf, it took one afternoon. So for our beginners out there who are just starting off golfing, be patient. It's a game that you play against yourself and the course. Okay, <laughs> count down to arms. Five, four, three, two, one. Down by the side, palms face back, reach up. Again, stay relaxed and through your neck, please. Very, very good. Okay. And if you're ready, Let's count in Hebrew. One is Echad, Stein, Shalosh, Arba, Hamish, Shish, Sheva, Shmona, Tasha, Esser. Here we go. Rear leg lifts, legs together. Okay, now you can work around in a circle if you like, like the high intensity people or forward and back, whatever is most comfortable for you. Fingertips resting on your waist, or down by your side if that feels better for you. There you go. Okay. Arms in five, four, three. No, I didn't hear you counting. Please count with me. Here, try again. Five, four, three. Two, one, very good, down by the side and then up. Okay, very important that you count down because if you cannot count down, if you're gasping, you're working too hard, slow it down, leave out the arms. Very good, forward and back if you like. Come on, stretch those fingers and arms, reach. No cheating allowed. Okay, couch potatoes, you watch out there. Is anyone cheating? Okay, strong arms, everyone. Count down, 10, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, legs apart and lift. Okay, some questions to take your mind off cardiovascular exercise. Keep moving, please. What Polynesian people inhabit New Zealand? Is that too easy? You're right, it's the Maoris. Count down to arms. Five, four, three, two, one, push down and pull up, tricep work. Okay, here's another one. What river flows above the Holland Tunnel? 
think about it. It's the Hudson. Countdown to change. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, heel comes forward. There you go, bend. Now, this is fine. Or bend that knee, work a little bit harder. Or follow high intensity there. Okay, there you go. Count down to arms. Five, four, three, two, one. Down by the side and out. There you go, good for you. And another question for you. What is the outermost part of the sun's atmosphere called? Any guesses? It's called the corona. Interesting, I didn't know that one. Okay. Count down to change. Cantonese, Chinese, ready, yet. Yi, some, say, um, look, tet, bot, gao, and sup. Okay, lift the knee across. There you go, across. Remember, lower back problem, people. Just to waist height. If your back is strong, up you come. Work around in a semicircle, if you can. Or a full circle, that's fine. There you go. Arms in five, four, three, two, one. Reach out at a 45 degree angle. Elbows come back to your waist. Reach at those fingertips, reach for all you've got. There you go, good. Stretch and reach. You don't want to put your arms here because then they're behind your eye line and that can strain the neck. So you want to keep them at a 45 degree angle. Have a look here. Same thing at the high intensity level. Good. Lift across, work that gluteus maximus. Very good. <laughs> okay. Today, during our SOS one level, legs, we'll be doing some squats and whatnot for the quadriceps and the adductors and the bottom region. Forward and back if you like. Count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one knee comes up, touch beneath the bent knee. Hands only come to shoulder height. Very good, again, watch those knees. Okay, posture is good. Do not lean forward, please. There you go, good posture. Move those legs. Where's Mount Olympus? Not on this continent. It's in Greece, right, very good. Okay, work your arms up if you can, if you don't have any neck problems. And what U.S. city's skyline boasts the Gateway Arch? Any guesses? St. Louis. Okay, work hard into our last minute now. Forward and back. It goes by quicker when we play little games like that, doesn't it? I know. Okay, forward and back. Bring those knees up. Come on, work hard. Push, push, push. There you go, both levels. Good, push, push. Now she's fired up over there. She wants to race here. Whew. <laughs> okay, there you go. Oh, a sip of water. It's very dry underneath these lights. Let's count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, this is it. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, keep moving. Locate your pulse either in your wrist or your neck. Please don't push too hard. That will give you an inaccurate reading. Count for 10 seconds, beginning now. Okay, that's 10 seconds. Have a look at our heart rate targets and chart. This is just a guide to let you know that you do not have to work as hard as you might have worked today. And if you weren't quite up there, you're gonna have to lift those legs a little higher in the arms. So you're right back. You need a towel, some water, a little bit of energy too. Okay, you're going to need a stool, you're going to need a couch, your coffee table, anything. We're going to start with some squats. Okay, now sofa spuds, you can do this exercise too. It may mean getting up, levez-vous. See what you can do. Stand with your feet about shoulder distance apart. And what I would like you to do is push back with your bottom, hands come out in front for balance, and touch and then squeeze on the way up. Okay, so once again, push back with your bottom. Knees do not come out over the toes and then squeeze up. Your knees will come to the edge of your toes. Okay, that's okay, but you don't want them to come out over the toes. Now, a lot of people in the workout workshops that I do, they do the exercise like this. Okay, they come forward like that. It's not that, it's pushing back. There you go, feel the difference? Okay, and then think about squeezing your quadriceps, squeezing your gluteus maximus, minimus, and medimus. Yes, you do have one. You do have muscles there, we all do. We, were, we are all created 
the same. Okay, we all have the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments, the bones that I speak of here on the everyday workout. Okay, unless you were hatched and uh, write to me and then, you know, if you were hatched, I'd be very interested in hearing your story. Okay, down very, very slowly. And this is where you could use handheld weights, but rather than place the handheld weights out here, which could potentially strain the elbow joint and the shoulder joints, I'd like to see you hold those handheld weights right in here. Or, better yet, on your legs. Okay, there you go, you decide. Very slowly, very controlled. And when we do the workout workshops, what I usually say to people that gets a giggle out of them is, as though you're bending down picking up a coin with your bottom. Okay, <laughs> can I say that? Okay, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Half the exercise is going down. The other half is slowly, just as slowly as you went down, come up and but squeeze, okay? Now let's try something different. When we get to the top here, let's squeeze and hold and then release. Okay, do you feel that? Yes, okay. And another thing, when you're walking, what I would like you to do is squeeze with each step that you take. Because we all know what happens as we age, everything tends to, to head south. Okay, unfortunately, I'm not moving south, but it does happen. So if we walk and each step we take, we squeeze the gluteus maximus, you'll find that that will help to lift things a little bit, okay? There you go, up and down. Boy, we've become friendly over the years. <laughs> and some of the cam camera angles that I use, especially during these leg segments, especially when we work the adductor muscles in through here, there, there's no really great camera angles. Okay, so I apologize if the shots aren't child friendly. Okay, but there's nothing we can do about it in order to show the exercises. Okay, there you go. You know my aim is true. Okay, squeeze. I know I can feel it too. Trust me. Yeah, we don't push a button and then have this, I do one exercise, then we push a button and it just has me going up and down and I only do one repetition, although that wouldn't be a bad idea. Last time, let's stay down this time. Okay, have a seat. Let's work on the adductor, the inner thigh. Legs come out, this is the one I mean. No good camera angle on this one. Lift out and then lift up, very slightly. Think of soft with the knee joint. Think of working the adductor right in through here. Okay. Can you feel that? There you go. Lift up and then down. Support here, if you like, or if you want, do some arm movements. Whatever you feel like doing, whatever you're most comfortable doing. Okay, if you want to concentrate, just lift and down. You want to sit fairly close to the edge of your stool or your coffee table or your couch. Up and down. Up, do you feel that in through here? Okay, that's good. That's exactly where you want to feel it. And if ever you want to add some resistance, you would add the resistance here. What I'd like to see you do is during this exercise break is do 10 more of these and then 30 on this side. Put on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, I'll see you right back to cool down. Great job. Eight, seven, six. Remember, anytime that we're exercising, you're welcome to take your footwear off, except for the cardiovascular segment. You need that resilience. And two, during SOS segments, when we do leg lifts like we just did, it's nice to have a little bit of extra weight, a little bit of resistance, okay, to help tone the muscles quicker. Okay, sitting tall makes a difference when we use this for support, doesn't it? I know, it really, really does. Sitting up nice and tall, as tall as you can. Feet are together, heels of your feet are together. Grab your ankles, never your tootsies. Okay, and stretch those adductors. Good for you, you did a good job today. You did. Now, if you happen to hear some rumbling, it's not my tummy. Uh, God is upstairs doing high impact aerobics. Hear that? Yeah. And uh, I've told him to land lightly, but he doesn't. Actually, we're having a thunderstorm right now. I wonder how my dog's doing. Oh no, she doesn't like thunder. She's becoming more and more blind. She's blind in one eye, and the other, blind, the other eye is starting to get covered as well so she's getting more and more frightened when she hears things and she doesn't like thunder to start with so she's probably panicking i'll call home after the show and make sure she's okay she's a baby girl okay there we go sitting nice and tall and then relax now we'll come down and we'll actually stretch the lower back region in this position here roll down inch by inch vertebrae by vertebrae down your spine now we didn't do abdominal work today but you know you're welcome to do that okay 
any time you like during those exercise breaks that we've conveniently set up for you. Okay, stretch out bottom leg, heel, keep that lower back flat, and draw that knee into your chest as close as you can, and circle around with your toes, and circle in the opposite direction. Thanks for joining me. You did good today. You really did. You're getting better each and each, each and every day. Okay, other leg. Bring that in. Extend that bottom leg out. Keep that lower back flat. Stretch with that foot. Okay, circle around. Okay, some cracks and creaks. Compliments of my body. <laughs> Carbon being released. Okay, there we go. Circle around. And place your feet flat on the floor. Both feet. And then bring both knees into your chest. And hold them there. Lift your tailbone up. And then place your tailbone back down. Okay, and lift up. And place them down. So you ready to make some changes for your life? Okay. Well, I hope that you're ready, and I, I hope that you're not being too hard or critical on yourself, too, with the changes that you want to make. Okay? Change has to start with you. If you are making some changes, especially if they're dietary, let your family know, okay, so they can help you and support you and hide the chocolate almonds and things like that. Okay, take care. Until next time, I'm Cynthia Kerlick. Bye-bye.